Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Uh, it is Sunday and we don't usually do videos on weekends, but I decided to do this one today because I was sitting there just, you know, watching my kids and just kind of glancing at my Switch here, um, you know, going through the games I have and just thinking about the future of the platform because obviously we know Switch OLED comes out later this year along with Metroid Dread. Uh, and many other Nintendo bangers, and the next year looks even better. Uh, but the thing is, I kept wondering, like, what is the future for Switch in 2022? And the more and more I look into it, the more and more excited I am. Like, 2022 has the potential. I don't know if it can top it, because I think we can all agree 2017 was so, probably the best, you know, year for Switch in terms of game releases. I think 2022 might be even better. And that's just based off what we know now, let alone considering all the things we don't know yet. That being said, uh, we are giving away a Switch OLED, by the way. If you would like to win one, it's very simple. Just subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's just look at the you know a handful of the games we know. I could go over every single indie release and third-party release we know about, but here are the games we know are coming to Switch next year, 100% for sure. So like, if you don't hear me say things like "Oh, NBA 2K23," I think it's pretty safe to assume we're going to get that game on Switch, but it's technically not announced yet because like the new one hasn't come out yet. All right, so let's get into what we do know. So. Pokemon Legends Arceus comes out in January, on January 28th. The rest of these we don't have release dates for, but that is one we do know. So that is what we're kicking off 2022 with, an open world Pokemon game. I, I want this to sink in. We are opening up 2022, a month after Christmas is over, and we are getting an open world Pokemon game. I can't believe... The words open world in Pokemon just came out of my mouth. And we're getting that on Switch at the end of January. Assuming there's no delays. Always a caveat. Could be delays. Pokemon doesn't like to delay things though. The Pokemon company doesn't. All right. Next up, we have Rune Factory 5. I know, I get it. Rune Factory is not for everyone. But having demoed this a couple times at E3 back in 2018 and 2019, I can safely say I am massively looking forward to to Rune Factory 5. I think it is just one of those games that provides a little variety on the platform. Obviously, you know, there are opportunities to play some of the older titles if you're into that already on Switch. Um, next up, we have Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. I mean, come on. Did you guys see the footage for this game? Did you? Tell me, you, the, if there was nothing you saw at E3, which we all know there's something else you saw at E3, but if there was nothing else you saw at E3, you saw Sparks of Hope, right? And if not, you're seeing it right now. It, it looks so good. It, it It's like they took that Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Metal formula, which was already excellent, and took off any restrictions and are just going all out. And from the dev interviews, that's exactly what it sounds like they're doing. It sounds like they are holding nothing back throwing all the possible punches that is great news for us as switch owners and great news for gamers because that's just going to lead to us having a much more fulfilling experience and that's saying something because the first game back in 2017 was really damn good next up there's going to be a new sonic game uh, there's going to be obviously collections and all this other stuff happening, but there is actually a new mainline Sonic game. We believe it's called Sonic Rangers. I don't know that that's actually going to end up being the final name. Uh, this is based on some various leaks and all that. But obviously the, the, the Sonic game was announced officially and is supposed to come next year. Yeah, it's going to come to other platforms, but that doesn't diminish the fact it's going to be on Switch and hopefully a quality experience. I know with Sonic we always got to be a little tepid in our expectations because how many times have they been let down by Sonic games over the years when we get overhyped? Uh, but I've enjoyed some of the some of the more recent ones, like Sonic Sonic the Lost World. I really enjoyed that game a lot, and I thought Sonic Forces was all right. Uh, but not every Sonic game that comes out is a banger. Uh, so we're, we're hoping that this one hits, but again, you know, it's Sonic. We'll have to wait and see on that one, but still... It is a big game. It is a big, um, you know, multi-platform game and a big uh, AAA third-party game. So it is good that Switch is even getting that. Speaking of Switch third-party games uh, of the AAA variety, anyone remember the Lord of the Rings Gollum? No? Well, here, take a look. So this game was supposed to come out 
this past year and it's actually coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. So when it was also announced for Switch, that was a bit surprising because you know, we kind of figure games that are focusing on next-gen platforms have no shot to come to Switch. Yet the developers very early on basically guaranteed this game is coming to Switch. So that is promising. Now, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan myself, so maybe this means more to me than it does to all of you. But personally, I think this is a really great move, uh, and I can't wait to see you know what it does. I mean, obviously I expect 30 FPS and, and sub 1080p. That's a given, but still, I'm very curious to see how this game runs, and hopefully it's just a quality experience. They are taking their time with it. They did delay it because of COVID, so, you know, credit to the studio. They are trying to do it right, so we'll just have to wait and see what this is. Uh, another high-quality, likely high-quality anyways, third-party multi-platform game coming to Switch. Again, adding to the variety on the platform in 2022. And then, last but not least, and we can't, we, we can't forget about this one, right? Hello, all the Zelda stuff I'm always talking about. Yeah, I know, blank screen back here. Someone's going to point it out. Yeah, chill a little bit, okay? We had some power outage issues, and my computer's having some power supply issues. Well, I'll get it sorted out for the next video. But for this video, I want to tell you something. Breath of the Wild 2 is supposed to come next year. The sequel to Breath of the Wild is planned to arrive in 2022. Think about this for a moment. Mario plus Rabbids. Pokemon Open World. Breath of the Wild 2. Oh, and Splatoon 3. All in the same year. All in the same year. Think about that for a moment. Those games are all in the same year. Hello, 2017. All we're missing is Mario Kart. Next thing you know, Mario Kart 9 is coming next year. Maybe Mario Kart 9 is a holiday game. That's how crazy things are getting right now with Nintendo. Next year, while I don't think it's going to be the peak year in terms of system sales, right? I don't think the Switch will ever top the year it had in uh, 2020, essentially, due to the pandemic, right? I think that's going to be the peak year for sales. That doesn't mean that, you know, sales are always going to be going down, 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 moving forward. It could go like this. You could see a little bit of a roller coaster in sales year over year, depending on what games come out. And next year looks like a killer year for games. So, yeah, I'm really excited. And this is just what we know about. Think about all the unknowns. Future Nintendo Directs. E3 next year. There's all these unknown variables from Nintendo for next year. And it already looks like a great year. 2022 already looks like an amazing year. Now, imagine a Mario Kart comes out. I wouldn't say Mario Party. We're getting that this year. But say a Mario Kart. What about a mainline Mario game? What if we get Mario Odyssey 2, Mario Galaxy 3, or some other new Mario adventure? Because obviously the Mario team's been doing something. They weren't just making Bowser's Fury mode for three, four years. Obviously, they were working on something else. We'll have to see what that is. What about that rumored DK game? What the hell is going on with Kirby, right? We get Kirby games every year. Looks like we might not get one this year, but why? Well, because we know the team is factually heavily in development of a new Kirby game. And that Kirby game is supposed to be the greatest Kirby game of all time, according to the developers. So maybe they're going to take some extra time with it. And that's exciting. Next year's lineup's exciting. And this is before we talk about, I mean, Bayonetta 3 might land next year. Metroid Prime 4 could land next year. I'm not going to rule those out officially, not this early, not when we're still in 2021. Heck, we're not even to September yet when there's supposedly going to be another Nintendo Direct. So, like, oh, I'm so excited right now. Uh, 2022 is just shaping up to be an amazing year, and I hope you guys think it's going to be amazing as well. So I just want to thank all of you guys for tuning in and taking some time with me today. I love each and every one of you, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.